Winter storm Jaden affecting the south. This is video from this morning in Mississippi and the snow's coming down, coating cars. Waking up to Tuesday morning now with minus 29 for your windchill in Minneapolis. But guess what? It is going to get a whole lot worse in the days to come. We got a serious Arctic blast coming. This Arctic blast caused by a polar vortex. Well, the polar vortex will dominate the weather across the upper Midwest and the Northeast this week. Antarctica and Alaska are going to be warmer than the Midwest. What a week we have to come. Perfect timing. No doubt you're going to be hearing about the polar vortex. It is going to usher in some very, very cold air. Record-setting cold. Widespread Arctic air. Extremely cold stuff. Dangerous cold as well. Frostbite could set in in just five minutes. The temperatures are going to stay below zero for a good solid at least 36-hour period. Uh, between Wednesday and Thursday, you're talking some spots in parts of Minnesota and the Dakotas could see wind chills colder than 50 below. There are some spots that could even be near 60 below it. Life-threatening conditions here Tuesday, Wednesday into Thursday. This is legitimate dangerous cold. Sub-zero here. Sub-zero is alive and well. Wave after wave after wave. Snow after snow after snow. This is a Thor News presentation. I can guarantee you if you wait a couple more days, you're going to see more ice on the lakes than you see right now because the polar vortex we're going to be experiencing this week is coming a lot farther south than normal. And then the Arctic blast comes in. Anywhere you see this purple is where we're going to have an extended period where temperatures are going to be below zero. Temperatures will stay sub-zero. Look at Minneapolis. We have four straight days where temperatures will not get above zero. Bitter cold, extreme record-breaking temperatures are about to move into the lower 48. So we have these next few days to get through with the extreme frigid cold. So that's the way it's shaping up over the next few days, uh, and it looks as though it's going to stay a little bit unsettled, to say the least. Now, I could just leave it like that. Follow the tail of that front all the way down. Mm -hmm. Notice how Tuesday those temperatures warm back up. That means a lot of that snow is going to be melting. But here's the catch. The problem is those temperatures will be dropping overnight into the 20s in many places. And because of that, if those roadways are wet, we're going to have some very icy travel as you head out Wednesday morning. Now that just loads the dice. The worst case scenario. Black ice threat. A lot of accidents. Cold air comes in behind this. So where you don't have melting, watch out. That could be black ice later today or tomorrow. They actually had to shut down I-90 for a while. The Minnesota State Police reported over 100 crashes and even more spinouts yesterday near Minneapolis. So the rain will be transitioning to snow before it ends around D.C., Baltimore, Philadelphia, New York, and around Boston as well. The snowfall forecast to come for so many locations from the Great Lakes all the way up to New England is rather impressive in many spots. Temperatures will drop as the winds increase. Conditions really are quite dangerous outside. If you're outside for any length of time, frostbite is a risk. As for pets, their time outside should be limited. Record lows are going to fall at some point. And, you know, with that kind of wind chill, basically your skin is going to get frostbite if it's exposed for five to ten minutes. You'll have more difficulty breathing when you go outside. So we're talking limited outdoor activity. So this is extremely dangerous stuff. Now, when temperatures increase, Pipes burst, creating a big mess. Then you get this incredible winter wonderland. Kind of looks like the spaceship from Independence Day, right? The alien ship. So you're thinking, wait, what? The train. Bam. So here we go again. If it's happening in a galaxy, then Thor is all over it. Hurricanes, solar flares, planet X. How humanity's going to destroy itself at each other's necks. Yeah, I don't know if you know this.
Winter is here. Be prepared.